Hey everyone, my name is Daniel. Welcome to our YouTube channel, and we are back at you guys with another video. Alright, so let's get started. We like the wind-up flashlights and the wind-up radios. Here, we got a variety of them. They all require a significant amount of cranking force. They have a little generator inside that has to be rotated at a very high RPM through different gears which makes it difficult. This is a radio and it has rechargeable batteries right here and it also has a crank. It also has a solar panel up on top. This is a light It also has a solar panel on the top. This flashlight has a battery at the bottom that's rechargeable and it also has a crank. It is very hard to turn. This is a flashlight and it has rechargeable batteries in here and it also has a crank. This is also a flashlight, but it has no batteries. And this is a flashlight, but it has no batteries, but it has a coil, a permanent magnet, and a capacitor. This is the first prototype of our Shake It generator we built. The entire invention is 20 inches long. The clear tubing is 1 inch thick and has 1 inch thick permanent magnets inside of it. This prototype has 17 generating coils that are half an inch thick and each one of them has 1000 churns of magnet wire. The permanent magnets have spacers between them that are half an inch thick and they are all facing north-south, north-south polarity. The coils are half an inch thick, but also the magnets are half an inch thick. The spacing between the magnets and between the coils is also identical at half an inch thick. The timing for all of the coils is all at the same time so that the energy induced in each coil can be combined together. Each individual coil induces its own current and has its own connections. The coils can be connected in parallel for more current and lower voltage or they can be connected in series for higher voltage and lower current or they can be connected in pairs like four sets of four coils each for slightly higher voltage and slightly higher current. We have this prototype connected in series for higher voltage. In this prototype, each half shake induces a single full wave AC pulse or a full shake induces two full wave AC pulses. At two shakes per second, we get four AC pulses for each coil. Each magnet moves through one coil once. Real quick, we will show you how AC induced current works. We have two permanent magnets here, one facing north, one facing south. We have a generating coil here. Also, we have two LEDs. The LEDs require DC current to work. We are inducing AC current. The LEDs will use only half of the AC wave. One LED is connected to the positive side of the wave and the other one to the negative. Both LEDs will lighten up, but not at the same time. They will alternate. As the coil approaches the magnet, 
The current induced in the coil will flow in one direction, and as the coil is leaving the magnet, the induced current in the coil will change direction. We installed the magnets inside the generator, and now we will lighten up 20 LEDs. Usually, 120 volts AC goes through a ballless transformer and steps it down to 24 volts DC. This is the second prototype. It only has six generating coils instead of 17. It produces double the amount of energy and it's five times more efficient. The secret here is that each half shake produces five AC pulses in each coil. A full shake induces 10 AC pulses and two shakes per second induces 20 full wave AC pulses per second. That allows it to induce more energy with less coils. Now, we will test the second prototype with the same setup. There's one thing different here. We have two additional magnets installed, one at each end. They are in opposing polarity in respect to the center magnets. They are acting as springs. The center magnets bounce back and forth between the two magnets. Also, you will notice that the lights won't flicker as much because we are inducing 20 AC pulses per second. This setup can produce 40 volts AC. In case of emergency, this generator can charge a 12 volt battery through a rectifier. This generator is producing around 20 watts of electrical energy. Here, we have a 20 watt, 120 volt AC incandescent light bulb. The generator has plenty of current to lighten up the light bulb but the voltage output is only 40 volts AC. It will still attempt to lighten up the light bulb. Thanks for watching everyone and make sure to subscribe because we have some really cool videos coming your way. And make sure to check out our online store at www.mindoftesla.com or the link in the description. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to hit that like button. And we'll see you next time.